Hi guys, I'm David Jacoby. I'm from Sweden. I work at Kaspersky Lab and in the GREAT team, the Global Research and Analysis team. I've been in the team for nine years already. So I'll be talking about associate engineering, not really an attack, but I found a, a vulnerability in the way that Swedish telcos handles customer data. So when a customer calls the support team, there's no way that they can verify who the person is on the other side. And by exploiting that, we could actually use some functions in the telco system to redirect voice messages or voice calls to another phone. So when they don't have a way to, to check out who you are, you can easily redirect any phone call to any number that you want. And by doing that, you can also bypass kind of the two-factor authentication on some social media providers. Okay, so when you, when you call into this telco, you present yourself with a name and maybe your, your phone number, and they will verify that in the system. Um, maybe if you're unlucky, the support person will actually try to ask you some security question, like what address do you live at, and what's your uh, social security number or your birth, uh, date of birth. But all that information is, is public in Sweden, so by just going online, you can actually find out all that information about, about the, the victim that you want to uh, transfer the call to. After you've done that, all incoming voice calls will be redirected from your phone to a different phone. And there's no way that you as a victim can find that out. There's no way you can see that it's happening, you don't get a notification or anything. I mentioned before that it bypasses two-factor authentication. It's, it's true and not true at the same time. But what's happening is that some websites, some really major websites, I don't want to mention any, any names, but when you go to these websites, um, you have the functionality to, uh, to reset your password, right? And if you have enabled two-factor authentication, the system will send you a security code via SMS, uh, but also through voice. There's like a robot that calls the number that you registered on that platform. And if you redirect the, the all incoming voice to a different phone, then of course the robot will call a different number and give you the security code and you can reset that account, the password for that account. When we found this out, we informed the telcos and we, we talked about this vulnerability or insecurity um, and there's it's not a technical problem so they're trying to figure out a way that they can update their routines to ask better questions or somehow inform the victim that this has been done maybe through a text message or adding some kind of information into their uh, their customer uh, website you know where you can control your own uh, like a user panel control panel for your account so you can actually see that a number has been uh, your, your account has been redirected to another number. Not just updating the, the routines, I mean, it's not good enough. So I recommended some, some technical things, which is, in Sweden we have something called uh, Bankade, which is an application where you can authenticate with fingerprint or a PIN code. And a lot of governments, a lot of banks use that for authentication. Um, and why don't the telcos use that? So when, when the user calls, you have to enter your, um, uh, your date of birth, and social security number and when you've done that that activates the authentication process on your phone and if you cannot authenticate with your phone then you cannot come in the problem is that the attack is that you're telling this telco that you actually forgot your phone somewhere or you lost your phone somewhere so it kind of contradicts themselves they, they cannot really figure that part out but they're I know that they're trying to the way we found out about this attack is that it's been exploded in the wild, in Sweden at least. We don't know about the rest of the world and we don't know to which extent, but we know that there has been some cases where victims has you know, fallen for, for this type of attack. Don't do it. <laughs> don't go hacking telcos. <laughs>